during harvest season, corn forage is abundant. So instead of putting it to waste, why not conserve and use it as feedstuff for your livestock? It provides quality feeds for livestock all year round and can be another source of income. This video will show you how to conserve and use corn forage as feedstuff for livestock. In Mindanao, cattle commercial growers have been using corn forage as feeds for livestock. This is in the form of corn soage. It is profitable for both corn farmers and cattle growers. A corn farmer may tie up with a big feedlot operator. In this arrangement, the corn farmer can earn a gross income of 60 to 70,000 pesos within three months while cattle growers are assured of a whole year supply of good quality roughage, which is a very important component of efficient beef and dairy production. For small corn farm holders without the opportunity to tie up with a feedlot operator, the option available is corn livestock integration. This takes advantage of the food and feed components of the corn plant. Baby corn stovers are suitable for corn forage, hay production, because they are still very young and can be consumed even without chopping. Baby corn stovers are very nutritious and could be consumed by large ruminants such as cattle and carabao. These are the steps in corn forage hay production. Step 1. After harvest, sun dry or hang the dry baby corn stovers for at least one to two weeks depending on the weather. Step 2. Set aside by piling the corn forage hay for storage. Step 3. Store in a place safe from fire. Green corn stovers are suitable for silage production. It is recommended that ensiling be done one day after harvest when partial wilting has occurred. This is to correct the required dry matter content for ensiling. Silage making is recommended for green corn stovers because they are more mature and have bigger stems than baby corn stovers. The following are the steps in silage making from green corn stovers. Step 1. Harvest green corn stovers by cutting the plants 2 inches above the ground. Step 2. Wilt green corn stovers for at least one day to reduce water content. Step 3. Chop green corn stover forage into 1 to 2 inch length using a corn chopper to save time and effort. Palm squeeze test may be used to determine appropriate moisture content after chopping. Step 4. To minimize loss of nutrients during ensiling, immediately fill the silo. Uh, green corn stovers can also be stored in uh, plastic bags, in plastic uh, drums, or in all bunker silo. Example, yung culvert can be used as a silo. Chopped green corn stovers should be packed very well in the silo to remove air. Anaerobic condition is a prerequisite for successful ensiling. Step 5. Using a man's weight, press on the chopped stovers to remove as much air as possible. This ensures anaerobic fermentation and favors formation of lactic acid, which serves as preservative. To preserve the materials, be sure the silo is very well pressed. When the silo is filled and compacted, seal it properly using plastic or cellophane. Tie a rubber band around the rim of the drum. Put something heavy on top to prevent entry of oxygen. Allow at least 21 days for fermentation. 
The desired pH level is from 3 to 4. The finished product is like a good quality achara. Whole corn plants are best for silage making because of their high feeding value and correct moisture content during harvest time. Once opened, continue feeding the animals daily with silage until the silo is empty to avoid spoilage. Now that we have seen how to conserve corn stovers for corn forage, hay production and corn forage silage production, let us look at how they are used as feeds for livestock. Hay produced from 4 to 6 metric tons per hectare yield of baby corn stovers can be consumed at 5 to 6 kilograms per head per day by 3 to 4 animals, each with a body weight of 200 to 250 kilograms. This feedstuff is good for 6 months of feeding. Silage made of 30 metric tons per hectare yield of green stovers can be consumed at 25 kilograms per head per day by 5 to 6 animals each with a body weight of 200 to 250 kilograms. This is also good for 6 months of feeding. Corn porridges are an excellent source of energy for dairy animals as well as for fattening cattle and carabao. Corn porridge hay and silage from green corn stovers are good sources of energy for beef and dairy production. Relatively, they are low in minerals like phosphorus, calcium, potassium, but with acceptable protein level. In order to supplement the needed minerals, you should add mineral sources to the hay or silage. Dried young grasses and legumes are good sources of protein and minerals. Ipil-ipil and malungay are some examples of legumes. Commercially prepared high protein concentrate may also be added to the hay or silage. The amount of concentrate depends on the desired body weight gain and milk production. Let us now look at the recap of the steps in producing hay and silage. Baby corn stovers are recommended for corn forage hay production. The baby corn stovers should be dried for one to two weeks before feeding. For silage making, use green corn stovers. After cutting, wilting, and chopping, they should be packed tightly in a silo and allow at least 21 days to complete the fermentation process. Once silos are opened, use continuously until consumed. Hindi po makikita ngayon ang uh, ating baka na kumakain ng mais na dapat po ito'y ating pakinabangan. Bagaman po ito'y inaakala nilang basura, ay ito po ay pera. Ito po'y napakagandang uh, pakain sa baka. Ito po ay pwede nating isilage at may mga teknolohiya na po tayong uh, nandyan para dito sa silage. At ito po ay maaari nating ipakain pagdating ng panahon na tayo ay hirap na sa kumpay o sa pakain ng baka. Uh, ngayon ito po ang solusyon na dapat po nating uh, mapag-aralan ng teknolohiya. Magamit natin ang uh, tinatawag nating dating basurang mais na magagawa nating pigs para sa ating baka. Forage conservation and utilization are very important farming technologies. They assure livestock growers of good quality feeds for their animals any time of the year and are a good source of additional income for the farmer.